Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a poor man called Abdullah, who worked as a fisherman. Every morning he went out to see his small boat. He threw his fishing net over the side and tried to catch fish. When he caught lots of fish, he took some of the fish home for his family, and he sold the rest in the market in the afternoon. One day, Abdullah went out to the sea, and he threw his net over the side of the boat. I hope there will be lots of fish today, he said, and he pulled his net in. There was nothing in the net. Oh well, said Abdullah, let's try again. Abdullah threw his net into the sea, then he pulled his net back in a second time. There was one very small fish. I can take you home for our dinner, Abdullah said to the little fish, we won't get very fat if we only eat you. He threw the little fish back into the water. Oh well, said Abdullah, let's try again. He threw his net into the sea and pulled his net in a third time. Abdullah looked into the net, there was some plants, there was a lot of mud, and there was a little glass bottle. What is this? said Abdullah. He picked up the little bottle and looked at it. It was very old. He turned it over in his hand. There was some writing on it cut into the glass. Abdullah looked at the writing closely, but it wasn't very clear. Oh well, thought Abdullah. It doesn't matter. I can't read anyway. He tried to open the bottle, but he couldn't open it. I will take it back to the land, Abdullah said to himself. Then I will see what is in the bottle. He put the bottle down carefully on the bottom of the boat. Abdullah sailed back to the land. He pulled his boat up on the sand. Now. Let's open this bottle, said Abdullah, and he tried to turn the top. It was very hard. He turned the top this way, and he turned it that way. Suddenly, the top came off, and a big black cloud came out of the bottle. Abdullah jumped back in a shock and dropped the bottle on the ground. A few seconds later again, a giant man stood next to Abdullah. His feet were on the sand, but his head was up in the sky. Free! Free! shouted the giant. After 300,000 years, I am free! His voice was louder than thunder. Abdullah looked up at the giant. He was very, very big, and he was holding a very big sword as well. Who are you? shouted Abdullah. The giant looked around him, then he looked down and saw Abdullah. Ah, dinner, said the giant. Oh, excuse me, I should introduce myself. I am Jamie. In fact, I'm the biggest and strongest genie in all the world. Did you let me out of the bottle? Yes, I did, said Abdullah. Thank you very much, said the genie. I'm very grateful to you now. Get ready to die. What? shouted Abdullah. What do you mean? I'm going to eat you, said the genie. But you let me out of the bottle, so I will be kind to you. I will cut off your head first, and then I will eat you. You don't need to eat me, said Abdullah. I have some rice in the pot if you are hungry. Hungry, shouted the genie. Of course I'm hungry. My last meal was 3,000 years ago. Now... Get ready to die. What? shouted Abdullah. What do you mean?
I'm going to eat you, said the genie, but you let me out to the bottle, so I will be kind to you. I will cut off your head first, and then I will eat you. You don't need to eat me, said Abdul. I have some rice in the pot if you are hungry. Hungry, shouted the genie. Of course, I'm hungry. My last meal was 3,000 years ago. Now, get ready to die. But tell me, why do you have to eat me and not the rice? Asked Abdullah. The genie looked at him. All right, he said. I will tell you my story first, then I will cut off your head and eat you. The genie sat down on the sand. Long, long ago, I lived in the country, said the genie. I was the youngest, tallest, and strongest genie in the world, but I was a very bad genie. I was the worst genie in the world. Is that all? said Abdullah. What did you say? said the genie. Youngest, tallest, strongest, worst, said Abdullah. That's not much for a genie. I was very young, shouted the genie. Later, I was the biggest and the heaviest too. And the noisiest, Abdullah whispered to himself. I did lots of terrible things, said the genie. The great sultan who was ever stronger than me put me in the prison. Is that all? said Abdullah. What did you say? said the genie. Youngest, tallest, strongest, worst, said Abdullah. That is not much for a genie. I was very young, shouted the genie. Later, I was the biggest and the heaviest too. And the noisiest Abdullah whispered to himself, I did lots of terrible things, said the genie. The great sultan who was even stronger than me put me in the prison. The genie laughed. My room in the prison had very high walls. One day I had a clever idea. I turned myself into a cloud and floated out of the prison through a window. After a while, the sultan caught me again. He put me in a room in a high tower of his palace. The room had no windows. For a long time, I couldn't get out. I thought and thought. Then I found a very small gap between the floor and the door. I turned myself into a stream of water, and I ran under the door and down into the street. I was free again, but the Sultan caught me a third time. Finally, the Sultan shut me up inside that bottle, put the top on, and threw it into the sea. I sank down to the bottom of the sea. Yeah. I counted the days and the weeks and the years. For the first thousand years, I shouted, Let me out. If you let me out, I will work for you all your life. But nobody let me out for the second thousand years. I counted the days and the weeks and the year for the first thousand years. I shouted, let me out. If you let me out, I will work for you all your life. But nobody let me out for the second thousand years. I shouted, let me out. If you let me out, I will make you a king. Still nobody let me out. For the third thousand years I didn't shout, I said to myself, if I get out of this bottle, I will kill hundreds of people and I will eat them up. Now I'm free and I'm going to eat you first. The genie pulled his sword out of his belt. What am I going to do, thought Abdullah. I must think of something and I must do it quickly. The genie lifted his sword. He was laughing. The genie looked down at Abdullah. Then his mouth dropped open. Abdullah was laughing too. Why are you laughing? Asked the genie. I'm going to kill you. You must not laugh. Abdullah looked up at the genie. I know, said Abdullah. 
but your story is really funny. When I think at it, I just can't stop laughing. What do you mean? said the genie. Don't you believe me? Of course not, said Abdullah. I have never heard such a silly story in my life, the great sultan. What do you mean? said the genie. Don't you believe me? Of course not, said Abdullah. I have never heard such a silly story in my life. The great sultan lived 3000 years ago. That what I said, shouted the genie. He put me in that bottle 3000 years ago. Nobody can live for 3,000 years, laughed Abdullah. I'm a genie, shouted the genie. We genies can live for thousands and thousands of years. Abdullah was still laughing. That really is silly, laughed Abdullah. Before you kill me, please tell me one thing. How did you really get here? I told you, said the genie, I came out of the bottle. No, no, said Abdullah, that can't be true, I know. You were hidden near here. Where were you hidden? I came out of the bottle, shouted the genie. No, you didn't, said Abdullah. Please, tell me the real story. How did you really get here? Why don't you believe me, said the genie. Well, just look at you, said Abdullah. Look at that little bottle. You couldn't get in there. You aren't the, sh the right shape and you aren't the right size. How can a big genie like you get in a little bottle like that? I'm a genie, shouted the genie. I can't get inside anything. Don't be silly, said Abdullah. Look, watch me. I'll try to get into the bottle. Abdullah tried to get into the bottle. See, I can only get my little finger inside the bottle, and I am much smaller than you. How could someone as big as you get into the little bottle? Stand back and I will show you, shouted the angry she. Abdullah stood back and the genie turned into a black cloud. The black cloud went round and round, then it went down into the pot with a noise like the wind. Did you see that? said the genie from inside the pot. Yes, I did, said Abdullah. He ran up the pot. Now, do you believe me? said the genie. Yes, I do, said Abdullah, and he quickly put the top back on the bottle. He pushed the top in hard. Now, stand back, said the genie. I'm coming out. Oh, no, you are not, said Abdullah. What's happening, said the genie. I can't get out. The top is back on the bottle. Take it off. You can't do that. I just did that, said Abdullah. The genie tried and tried to get out of the bottle. The little bottle jumped up and down. Now you are back in the bottle, shouted Abdullah. And I am going to throw you back into the sea. Oh no, shouted the genie. What a minute. Take the top off. If you let me out, I will work for you all your life. No, you won't, said Abdullah. You will kill me. Abdullah began to work to the edge of the sea. Wait, shouted the genie. If you let me out, I will make you a king. No, you won't, said Abdullah. I will eat me up and everyone else. Abdullah reached the edge of the sea. You can't throw me back into the sea, shouted the genie. Yes, I can, said Abdullah. But first I have a piece of advice for you. If you get out of the bottle again, don't be noisy. It's better to be nice to people than to eat them. 
Abdullah pulled back his arm and he threw the bottle for our far out to sea. Goodbye, Jenny, shouted Abdullah. The bottle splashed into the water and sank down, 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 down to the bottom of the sea. So don't forget if you ever find a bottle in the sea, throw it straight back, even if a voice promises to make you a king. Don't open the bottle.